there was a hundred and ten million channels on YouTube right now. A hundred and ten million. Now that's a lot of channels. That's a lot of things to watch. So what I thought I'd do this morning is kind of go over a few channels that I like to watch that you may have never heard of. You may have. But there's a good chance, you know, you're at least one I'm going to mention you're, you've never seen, and I think they're pretty good channels. Uh, no, I do not watch Homestead channels, but I'll kind of show you some of the channels I watch. So what I'll do, yeah, I don't have all the fancy hocus pocus, you know, with the picture in picture. I could do that, but I'm not taking the time to do that. So let me just spin you around. I've got the capabilities with this camera. We'll go over it for uh, a few seconds, and we'll move on to the next one. You guys can comment in the comments what you like to watch. I may have not seen it. All right, first one up. Let's just spin around. Now, this guy, this is called Desert Drifter. Now, what this guy does, he goes out and he'll hike for a couple of days out in the deserts in the southwest. Uh, he's got 32 videos, but I assure you they're all very good. Uh, just a likable guy. He'll find these old uh, ruins and he'll climb up there. He puts his drone up there. Let me see. We'll just play a clip. The Grand Canyon has been a place that has awed and mystified humans ever since its discovery. Through decades of professional study, there's much we have learned about the canyon. So that's one channel. And uh, I've enjoyed every video he's put up. And let's go back here. Let's see what else. You know, I watch a variety of things, guys. Not just, uh, you know, one thing. Here's, here's one I really like. You guys should check him out. Below the Plains. I don't know if this guy's a, what do you call it, archaeologist or whatever. But what he does, he goes out. Mostly up in the Dakotas and that area. And he plots out an area. He looks at old maps. And then he digs up bottles. Okay. He digs a big old hole. Yeah, serving drinks here. Digs up old bottles from the 1800s. Now he don't mind getting dirty, I'll tell you that. Alright. But he's digging outhouse holes. Wow. That is There's awesome. that channel. And uh, he puts uh, maybe a video a week out, something like that. Uh, Below the Plains. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put a link in the description. Probably won't. So you'll have to come back and watch the video for reference. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Now here's one. Let me see if I can find him. Uh, well, here's, we'll go hit, while I'm looking, we'll take a look at this guy. Now, he's a guy out in California. Sidetrack Adventures. Now, most of his videos are no longer than 10 minutes, 15 minutes. He's, he's actually been making them a little longer. But, you know, he, he's got some hey, very sidetrack adventures. This is Steve. interesting videos. Today, we're going to be talking about a legend that's been around for centuries. The Lost Ship of the Desert. So right now, we're standing in the middle of the desert near the Salton Sea. And the Salton Sea is currently the largest lake in California. Sidetrack Adventures. Alright, I wish my subscription list was in alphabetical order. It would be a lot easier to find it. I thought it used to be. Here's another guy I watch. Casper Sight. Yeah, he's a bigger channel. A uh, guy over in England somewhere, uh, he, he goes over like alien stuff, paranormal stuff, pretty interesting. He's kind of funny. Don't worry, okay? There is going to be a freaky deaky paranormal video. Freaky deaky. This, okay, it's going to be a double upload. But I just wanted to... Freaky deaky, mate. The F has been going on with me, okay? So I don't know what I'm going to... Freaky deaky. Now, y'all English people got some funny words, man. Freaky deaky. I tell you what. Ah, uh, let's see. Let me find this guy. Uh, as you can see, I'm real prepared. There's just a lot of channels. 
I got enough to where if I sit down in the evening, I got usually have enough to uh, keep me busy, keep me in entertainment for the night. Of course, I watch uh, Sean James. I'm not gonna, I shouldn't have to show anybody that, but I'm looking for this particular one. And well, let me just search, okay? Let me search because I need to show you this because it's kind of, hold on. Okay. Let me get him on here now. Let me get his channel pulled up. Hobo Shoestring. A little bit about the Alaska Railroad. It starts down here in Seward. Down on the Kenai Peninsula. Alright. The name of that channel is Hobo Shoestring. And I started watching him about three months ago. And about a month ago, he went missing. They couldn't find him anywhere. What this guy does, he hops trains. And he'll go all over the United States. He goes up into Alaska. And he hops freight trains. He's a hobo. And I believe he was 52 years old. But they found him. He had an apartment in Tennessee. And they found him dead in the lake. Drowned. They believe he did it himself. But nobody knows. Uh... Well, man, he's a, real, a really good channel. Most of his videos are at least an hour long. Uh, he's got 515 videos. This guy was like a bum. Started a YouTube channel. Was able to get him an apartment. Get off public assistance. So, even though he's gone here in the last month. Still a good channel. Uh, we got Scrappin' Pallet Man. Have you ever watched him? Let's go take a look at him. Well, there's his latest. I don't. Let me show you something, guys. Right there is the dog man sticker. Yeah. I don't know. It's getting pretty wore out. Let's see if we can get. Yeah, he's got two of my stickers on his truck. Scrapping Pallet Man. He's in Illinois somewhere. He goes around. He picks up scrap. He's got 243,000 subscribers. Eh, he's, he's different. I'll tell you that. He's different. But he's, you know, he's, he's, he's got a pretty cool channel. All right. Let me see. What do we got? Oh, you got to see this one, guys. Let me type it in because, look, it's easier to type it in and search it. Let me get my keyboard where I can access the daggum thing. This channel I really love. Ah, you know, don't use O's for zeros. Okay, here we go. The name of this channel. I didn't know his name until now. Huh. I'll be dipped. All right. This guy's channel is really good. Born a hundred years too late. I thought he had more subscribers than that, but maybe he will now. Okay, what this guy does, he packs up, he loads up a couple of mules. He, I think he's in New Mexico, and he goes in the desert southwest. He takes about eight hounds with him. Let's take a look at, let's, let's just click on one of his videos. Okay. Here he is uh, going to Geronimo's Cave. He's got all his dogs. You know why I like it. That's the legend of Geronimo's Cave. That old man's cool. Actually, he's younger than me, I think. He is. All right, I've been thinking about this for a while. I, uh, last time I come up here, I remembered back. Had to be, you know, 35 or more years ago. I came up and I hiked across the river. It was during the winter time. Very cool channel. You guys will enjoy that one if you like that kind of thing. Oh, where are we getting on time? Well, let's let's maybe I'll do this every week. We'll go over some videos. Uh, we'll go over some channels. Uh, let me see. I got some channels, you know, that are questionable, but you know, of course, Vice Grip Garage. I like watching him. But, as with some of those channels that blow up into the millions, they're getting very commercialized. I 
wow if i had ever happened to me i would never do that they are truly in it for the money he's a young man so i understand that but yeah it's like you know when you're watching videos and, and i don't mind watching reviews in in a video but he, they got their hands in a lot of things but it's still fun to watch uh i don't know let me come up with one more what do i got written down here i got cue cards i have to uh metal detecting channels uh quarter hoarders one i'm not going to show anything i watch him i watch uh the hoover boys those are i like to watch the metal detecting channels where they're somewhere where there's st old stuff you know you metal detect here in arkansas you're not going to find anything old not like they're finding they're finding colonial stuff that's what I like to see, gold. and they, Arkansas was so dense, uh, you know, sparsely populated, you're not going to find nothing here, even if you could dig, because it's rock. I, I have metal detected this property, and it was a pain, and all I found was junk, and I should have knew better. Uh, let's see, let's see. I watched Sam Craft. He's got a pretty good channel. Uh had to be another one on here. The Appalachian Channel. Let's go. Let's go check him out. Okay. And I should have been better prepared, but you know me. Here it is. This guy. Not long ago. In fact, I shouted him out. He only had about two thousand subs, so I gave him a shout out. Now he is at one hundred and twenty. Yeah, but he takes the time. He goes out and does the stuff. I don't do that, you know. I'm not looking to get huge or anything like that. Let's go to his channel real quick. Uh, we'll spin you around. And he is in Tennessee, and now he's traveling that area showing Appalachia. And he goes to, like, old general stores. Gosh, that's a big piece of meat, Ooh, that looked good. Look at that mashed taters with the gravy in the basket. Mm -hmm. I had them out here, but you had to put them in there. So how many miles did you end up putting on this vehicle? Oh, I don't know. It's got 180 on it now. So you drove this a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. All right, you want to see any more of that, you'll have to go check him out. Uh... I thought I'd just tell you about some of the channels I watch, what I spend my time watching. Rarely do I watch anything else other than YouTube because, well, it's free for one. And there's a lot of real stuff on there. Um, last night I clicked on Amazon Prime. I've got it because I got Amazon Prime, you know, to get the free shipping, so to speak. And, and I just, I'd start watching something, it sucked. Start watching something, it sucked. And I never end up watching that. Now, YouTube has a lot more movies on there. A lot of indie movies. I like indie movies. They're pretty good, usually. So, I've been watching a lot of them. I'll watch videos, and then I'll watch one or two movies in the evening. You know? Get you through the day. All right, guys. We had a freak rainstorm. It wasn't supposed to rain. I've got to go to town, get me a haircut, and get me some groceries, and... Uh, Comment below what are some what are some good channels you watch? I don't want to watch homestead channels, but go ahead and tell the people. It doesn't matter if I want to watch it. Let people know what you want to watch and you know, maybe I've never heard of it. Maybe I'll enjoy it. Maybe you guys will enjoy some of these channels. Um, when I get back, I'll probably put the links to these channels in the description. I don't have time right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the video up. So check back later. And I'll probably have the links or you see the name and just type it in Google or YouTube search and be off with you. All right. We will see you tomorrow. Happy trails.